Hi everyone, let us discuss this uh, example. In this example, we have to find the value of surface integral of a scalar field, right? F is a given scalar field and S is the surface they have given to us. So let us write the definition of uh, surface integral of scalar field, right? Let me write here. Uh, we have, we have surface integral of scalar field F over S is double integration of F of R of uv okay so r is a parameterization of surface s sometimes we take it as phi sometimes we take it as r so in a problem itself they have mentioned the parameterization r so that's why i'm using the symbol r so here r is defined that parameterization is defined on domain d so that's why we solve this double integration over d after that we have norm ru cross rv du dv okay so what will we do? We will start to write the given information. Okay, what we have, let me write, we have, they have given a function, function f, scalar field, f of x, y, z. What is it? It is x, z plus 2y. After that, we are interested to know the surface. But see, instead of giving surface, they have directly given a parameterization. So task will be very easy for us. Getting the parameterization is already provided to us. And no need to draw any diagram, to draw any surface and find parameterization since they have directly given to us. So let me simply mention parameterization of S is, let me mention parameterization of S is R of UV. Okay, so R of UV. What have they mentioned? It is U square. Next, V square by 2 and the last component is UV. They have given in terms of i, j, k, but uh, see, I'm writing in terms of this as an element of R3. Both of them have the same meaning, but I like this way of writing. So that's why. Limits they have also mentioned here. So 0 less than or equal to u less than or equal to 1 and v varies from 0 to 2. So let us see what we want. We want R u. Derivative of R with respect to u. Let us find R u. Derivative of u square is to u. There is no u. Its constant derivative will be 0. Derivative of this u is 1 and v will be there. After that r v, derivative of r with respect to v, there is no v. So that's why it's constant and derivative will be 0. Derivative of v square is 2v. But say 2 is already there, 2, 2 will get cancelled and simply v will be there. There u is a constant will be as it is, derivative of v is 1. So 1 into u, u. Okay, so r u, r v, we got. We want cross product. Let us find, okay. Let us find a cross product. Let me do here. So R u cross R v. You know well how to find by solving this determinant i j k. The first row will be this one. 2 u 0 and v R v. This will be the last row. 0 v u. We will solve the determinant i. Product of these two is 0. Okay, so I will not write anything minus product of these two is v square. Okay, so middle term always has a minus sign when we solve the determinant. So that's why I'm writing minus sign there. So 2u into u, it will be 2u square minus 0 into v 0. So that's why I will not write anything. Plus k product of these two is 2uv and again we will have 0. So that's why I will keep just 2uv there. Okay, so let me mention it properly. So minus v square minus 2u square and 2uv. After that, we want its norm. Let us find. So norm ru, sorry, huh? it's ru cross rv. So you know well how to find a value of norm by taking square root of, square root of, square of first will be v raised to 4 square of this one will be 4u raised to 4 and square of this one will be 4u square v square. Okay, so uh, will you tell me it is what we are familiar with this? This is bracket square expansion. Will you tell me this is bracket square expansion of what? v square plus 2u square. If you expand this bracket, you will have the same expansion, right? a plus b bracket square formula, a square plus 2ab plus b square. So what will happen that square and square root will get cancelled to each other and we will have v square plus 
2 u square. So this is value of norm. After that, I will find, uh, see this thing we have got now. So we will work for this one, f of r of uv. Let us find it. Make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us find f of r of uv, okay? So now, now, f of r of uv. So this is equal to f of, what is r of uv? They have mentioned here, u square, v square by 2 and uv. After that, we have to uh, see, we have to use the definition of f. They have given to us to find its value. So x into z, that means for product of first and last component, it will be u cube v plus 2y. That means 2 into the second component, 2, 2 will get cancelled and simply we will have here v square. So in this way, we got all the values. So let us use the definition to find the value of surface integral of scalar field. Then double integration of f over s is equal to double integration f of r of uv, right? Norm ru cross rv du dv, okay? And we have the limits of u and v. So it is uh, 0 to 1 and 0 to 2. So this is equal to, see, uh, uh, first of all, we will integrate with respect to v. So that's why I'm taking here 0 to 2 and after that u, so 0 to 1 f of r of uv, what is its value? This one, u cube v plus v square and value of norm is v square plus 2 u square dv du. See, we need to solve those brackets. Without that, we cannot find its value directly. So we have to solve. It will take some time. Okay, 0 to 2. First into first. So u cube v cube first into second. So uh, let me write here, what will we have? 2 u raised to 5 v plus second into second v raised, sorry, second into first v raised to 4 plus second into second. So it will be uh, 2 u square v square dv du. Okay. So we have some space. Let us use. So this is equal to 0 to 1. I am going to integrate with respect to v. Okay. So u cube is constant. Derivative of v cube is v raised to 4 by 4 plus derivative of v is v square by 2. 2, 2 will get cancelled. u raised to 5 v square. Derivative of, sorry, it's integration, my mistake. It's integration. v raised to 4. Integration will be v raised to 5 by 5 plus its integration will be, see, v square is there. Its integration will be v cube by 3. So, 2 u square v cube by 3, 0 to 2 and du. So, we have to put upper limit 2. Okay. First of all, I will put upper limit then I will go for the lower limit. If I put 2, 2 raised to 4, that means 16. Getting? So, 4, 4 cancel and we will have simply 4 u cube. Here, uh, 2 square is 4 u raised to 5. Here 2 raised to 5, that means 32 by 5. And here if I put, uh, it will be 8 into 2, 16 u square by 3. If I put 0, we will have 0. Okay, so yes, now we have to integrate with respect to u. Make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us continue. So now we have to integrate with respect to u. Okay, so u cube. So its integration will be u raised to 4 by 4, 4, 4 cancel u raised to 4. Integration will be uh, 4 u raised to 6 by 6. See, there is constant only. So integration will be just 2 will be there. Uh, u will be there to this 32 by 5. Its integration 16. U, integration of u square is u cube by 3 and into this 3, 9, 0 to 1. So simply we have to put upper limit. So let me put upper limit 1, 1 plus 2 to cancel 2 by 3. 32 by 5, right? And this is 16 by 9. If you put 0, we will have 0. Okay, no need to worry. See, let us cross multiply. It will be 5 by 3. Okay. And plus this 16 by 9, I am writing here first. And after that, 32 by 5. What will I do? I will multiply numerator denominator by 3. So both of them have the same denominator 9. So it is a uh, 50. Uh, it will be 15 plus 16. That means 31 by 9. Okay plus 32 by 5. 
See after that uh, we need to cross multiply. Okay, we need to cross multiply. So see what will we get? This is equal to one phi u and phi u plus here also we need to cross multiply. It is uh, eight to eight by forty five. Simply we need to add. It will be three and uh, see uh, thirteen three and uh, here thirteen fourteen four and four by forty five. So this is a required answer. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.